What up, it's Melvin7 here. We are going to make some serious changes to our weekend league squad for next week. Um, I think I'm going to sell Sadio Mane. I think he's been absolutely brilliant for me, but I want to try Huming Song uh, because he's just been a phenomenon every time I've came up against him. And I also want to get Bruno Fernandes, so I need to kind of fund it. Uh, and I could wait until rewards on Thursday. But I don't think I'm going to, so I think we're going to sell Sadio Mane there. Um, you'll already see here, I've managed to buy Kante in. He was about 300k when I bought him. Um, obviously, these players are on the drop now, uh, most of them anyway. I think Neymar and Mbappe, well, particularly Mbappe, has probably rose. But other than that, oh no, even he's decreased a little bit. Um, I, I still <laughs> got one of the cheapest ones you could get, I think, uh, and he's going nowhere. He's just absolutely absurd. Obviously, uh, Neymar was first owner, and yeah, he, he's been fluctuating between about 850 and 950, so I don't think he's in too much danger. But yeah, I'm going to be getting Bruno in for Valverde, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with the squad, first of all, uh, how I'll start it in-game to get the chemistry. And then, yeah, we'll, um, we will actually go out and get it. So, what I'm going to do is obviously get rid of Valverde. He is untradeable, so I'll just stick him on the bench. He's a good card, but I feel like he's he's not quite cutting it at the minute uh, in terms of some uh, teams that I'm coming up against, particularly in rivals, actually, more than champs, which is just weird. But yeah, so... I will put Mbappe down into centre forward so he gets the chemistry there. We'll obviously put Pogba there. And then I know Hu Ming Song won't get full chem in right mid, but that was the same story with, um, I was going to say with Kante, with uh, bloody hell, uh, Mane. Uh, I played him off chem on seven. He'll get eight, I think, when he gets uh, loyalty, or he might start on six and then get seven. I think that's actually what happens. And then we'll get Bruno and we'll put him up there who will link with Pogba. And then my custom tactics, obviously it might not allow me to actually change the players if I don't have 11 players there. But yeah, I go four and two and two and this is exactly what I do. Fast build up, press mm. Oh, sorry, that's, that's my phone. <laughs> uh, press after possession loss. Um, but yeah, what we will do is have, um, if I can bloody see, right, sorry, <laughs> right, anyhow, so what we'll do, we'll have Pogba here, we'll have Mbappe up front with Neymar in at Cam, Bruno on the other uh, centre mid and then Huming Song up front, that's going to be the attacking plan, I like that you can do it without actually having all the players there. Um, and then with this one, obviously we're not going to have Neymar in CDM. We're going to have Neymar on the other... Oh, bloody... Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then we'll have Pogba and Kante holding with Bruno in that cam position and Huming Song up front. What I might do, actually, I think I'll put Mbappe up front with Son on the left. I think that makes a lot more sense there uh, for, the, for the defensive game plan. Now, I don't really use ultra-defensive or ultra-attacking very much. But I'll still do it just in case I want to. So same sort of thing, except this time they obviously are sat back a lot more. It should already have the custom tactics I had on each individual player. At least I'm hoping, anyway. So, you know, stay back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems as though it does, apart from these two. Um, wait there. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, it's it's it saved the actual things uh, for each player it just because i changed the formation it's messed up where the players should be which is fair enough uh so obviously we want uh pogba if oh it's so bloody difficult there we go navigating around this sometimes right we need to get to oh there we go yeah so not that it makes a difference mbappe being on that side and son being on the other side because they both got forced off forced up but yeah we just need to go out and get bruno and son who i think have uh, dropped. I think Son's about 180, maybe 185, and I don't know what Bruno is, but I imagine he's dropped to probably about 150. So yeah, I think that's quite a balanced team. Um, and yeah, I, I'm looking forward to building it. We sold Nelson Semedo while he was one to watch. Ooh, I think Mane has, so oh no, he hasn't. Oh, damn it, a shadow sold. But we have sold Nelson Semedo. He was brilliant for us. Unfortunately, I can't show you how many games he played. Same with Fabinho. 
I thought he was really, really good. But again, there were times where his lack of pace was really costing me. So that's why I want to get Kante in there. He's got a little bit more pace. And uh, yeah, every time I've came up against Kante, he's been an absolute monster. So yeah, we're just going to wait for uh, Marnie to sell. But we'll have a quick look uh, at what sort of price we'll be looking for for Huming Song and Bruno Fernandes. So let's have a look. Hopefully I'll have enough. I hope so. I'm sure he's about 190. Right, we'll do that. There you go, he's dropped, get in. The cheaper he is, the easier it is for me to get both. So it looks as though he's about 180, just just shy of. Okay, I, I'll probably be able to snipe him for about 170. And then how much is Bruno? He was 190, but I, I'm guessing he's way less now. Oh, ah, Bruno is not the right player. Uh, Bruno Fernandez. Yes, there we go. I think I'll just have enough, which is good. Um, oh, actually, is he even cheaper? Nice. Okay, so he's about 125. So what we're looking at for Son, 170. So that's 300k. Once Marnie sells, I'll be able to get them both. And that'll be my foot champions uh, squad, I think, for next week. We have got Bruno and Son into the team. Bruno cost 125,000 and I've equipped a Hunter. I think the pace, shooting... Uh, you know, it, it's pretty good to upgrade, particularly because I'll be playing him either as a centre mid or a, a cam, depending on which formation that I use. Uh, and Son, I put a hunter on. Uh, we got him for 168,000. And yeah, again, pace, shooting, that's exactly what he needs as well. So yeah, he, he's obviously going to be playing striker, either, either formation. No, sorry, he'll either be left wing if I use 4-2-3-1 or 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. He'll be up front alongside Mbappe. So, yeah, this is the team I'm going to be rocking, but we'll probably play some rivals games just to uh, rein it in, test it, I suppose. And, yeah. Right, so I've just got uh, a little few clips for you, I guess. Uh, I did do three two rare player packs ages ago now, and I just couldn't find the footage. But, uh, yeah, I've managed to dig it out in my PC, found where it's actually recording. Um, and yeah, we, we did pack Thiago Silva, again this is like over a week ago now so it's kind of old, but we did pack a very expensive player who's dropped obviously because the market crashed, but yeah you might have seen him on my bench uh, without really any explanation for it, but I think it's this pack here um, where you know we see the German flag left mid, of course it could be whack. There is a, a whack one, I can't remember for the life of me, but it wasn't unfortunately, uh, sorry, fortunately, it was Sane, who uh, is going to be great for untradeable, um, as an untradeable Bundesliga player, if they ever do objectives for that sort of thing, I'm going to be quite sorted, especially since I've got uh, in the red Delaney from my uh, player picks as well, so it's pretty good, but yeah, we've got three boards which is the first time that's ever happened to me in uh, two rare player packs fortunately the last one wasn't as good but yeah i thought i'd just stick this in right so i've got five of these two rare player pack upgrades Let's see what we can get i don't know what video this is going to be a part of but hopefully it can be the headline of said video not with uh, starting packs like that it won't be oh what one's that oh god sergio asensio yeah just what you want Ah, uh, and then he's going to be untradeable, yeah. We discard, we discard. Four remaining. <sighs> Come on. I haven't had a walkout in, like, over a week. Come on. Uh, not even a board, man. Oh, someone's flipped a switch in here. Oh, Sergio Asensio again? Oh, back-to-back -back Sergio Asensio. Oh, that's ass. Next one isn't a board either. You love to see it. Oh my god, Mariano 77. Oh god. And it's lagging. Oh, two left. Come on. Oh, oh my days, man. Not even a fucking board again. Bruv, Sushek and David Neres, or whoever that was, I didn't really, didn't really look. 
Ugh. Come on, last one. It's not a walker. It's not a board. Oh my god. What have they done to like packs at the minute, man? Soyonku and Pavlenka. Ugh. <laughs> Bruv. That is uh, it's not very good. It's not very good. Right, well, I'm not good enough to win the online draft at the minute, so I thought, fuck it, why not try the offline draft and see what sort of rewards we're going to get. One of my mates has said that he got a 5k pack and a 7.5k pack for winning, so I'm hoping I get a little bit better than that, but here we go. Let's see, and we get, okay, it's pretty much the same as last year, 7.5 and a 15k pack, so we'll see if we can get anything good from that. I just thought, why not? It's something a bit different, and yeah, I've played the online draft a few times. I got to the final once, uh, but I'm just... Uh, I, I just don't have the patience for it, I don't think. I like the draft, I just... I rarely win. It was the same last year as well. So, we didn't get anything in that one, but here we go with a 15k pack with one extra item. Pointless, but anyhow. Let's see. So, it's a rare gold... It's not a walkout, it's not a board, so that was completely shite. Do we get any UCL cards though? Because they're going for 11k at the minute. We do not, so you know, that's absolutely stunning. We get Parotti, and of course we get a shitty Cannonball player, so that was worth the one hour grind. Alright, so I think I'm just going to add this into a segment of a video. I am finishing the UEFA Marquee matchups. I'm using this card, which I packed. Uh, it's currently rewards day, so the cards are, are literally going for, as you can see, 2k max. Uh, instead of spending 11k when this SBC first came out. So yeah, this is what I'm submitting. I realise there's a lot of rare cards, and I probably shouldn't be putting these up. Because... Although they're not out yet, I reckon they're going to be out the UCL upgrade packs uh, for rare cards, etc. But you know what? I'm okay with that. We, we can we can get plenty of rares. I think I'm going to stock up on rares, actually. Going to try and trade for a change. Uh, so there we go. UEFA marquee matchups is complete. We've got a rare Electrum players pack. And again, I should be saving this for tomorrow at 6. But hey-ho, got to get some content for the videos. So why not? We've got a 25k pack and a 30k pack. I usually love rare electrums, so I hope we get something out of that in particular. Of course, the 25k pack doesn't even give us a board. They've been dreadful for me this year, really. 25k packs. They usually are, to be honest. Uh, we get William. Not too good there. Uh, what else do we get? This, this. The center forward to Cam is probably the most expensive thing. How much does Lumpelard go for? Uh, about 800 coins we'll sell him but yeah i'm hoping for some really good stuff in the rare electrum pack and some usable silvers as well because i want to complete the silver stars this week hopefully they release another objective where you know you get a 55k pack or something i thought that was going to be a walkout wow honestly they've turned a switch on my account my luck has went to complete like just plummeted man look at this what is this Okay, we get a PC Korean. He'll be good for the objective, but wow, ah, oh, that's absolute gob. 